This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is Emily Frankel, my wife. And what are we doing? We're, well, you are the one that usually makes that suggestion. Emily. Well, I warned you. What, what do you want? I would like to discuss whether or not we should be considering using our little studio theater downstairs for doing a play, you and me doing a play together or a project together in that in our studio theater. You realize that she's springing me, this on me right now. Uh, this is I the first time I've him. heard. You said you warned me, and I, you didn't. You didn't warn me. Well, I did mention it, but. A few months ago. <laughs> well, we've done that on many occasions. Uh, we've uh, we've considered that, and we have actually done uh, several of uh, your projects. We did. Uh, uh, well, I've done. Pains. Uh, we've done. Uh, we've used the studio downstairs as a preliminary place to test out ideas, and I've done that with dances a lot. And either you had a dance company going there for. And a while. I had a thing called four four choreographers that, that I did. That was a wonderful. Play. Okay, but now, should John and I consider taking one of our projects, or my projects, or a project, and doing it downstairs well are you talking about actually like a, a, a little theater production yes well now we've done all of our stuff has been the the the, the plays and stuff has have been readings and uh well uh, it could be a reading it could be a reading yes but you're i think you're, you're talking about actually doing a production having people come in and, and, oh, yes. and watch it have because a... we have a theater we have lights and we have sound and we could do, we, yes, we could do We have do about that. 68 seats, if you don't mind sitting on the floor a little bit. <laughs> well, and uh, we, we could, I, I, I wouldn't care if we cut it down to 50. That would be perfect. No, I like 60 better. Okay, all right. Okay. What would we do? So I'd like to do my play Shattering Pains again and update it about why pains are shattering nowadays, not like they were. When we, Ten years ago. Yeah. Well, it's, things have, and and that's a perfect you, vehicle. Would, would you like to do something there? Would you like to do a Shakespeare? No, I'd rather do Shattering Pains. Uh, that's plenty. Uh, if we get Shattering Pains done, then I'll consider something else. Well, just trek down the road a little bit. and yeah. What would you consider doing? Well, I could do a one-man show. Oh! Uh, you know, I, I, uh -huh. my, I, my, instead of doing my memoirs, I could just uh, do a show where I'd talk about the things that I've done in, in my career. That John, would be John was playing with that on his computer. I saw some of his writing while he was writing. I can really <laughs> see long distance. I and can, I can, I, I can sit right in front of twelve inches away and write, and I have to put it up big. And, and Emily walks in a room, and she's twelve feet away, and she's reading over my shoulder what when I've written, and I'm thinking, well, she can't see it, and and, and she reads it right off the. I saw that John was thinking about a, a one-man show. Yeah, you did. Would you like to do a one-man show in our studio? The problem with doing it here is that safety is more and more important since we are on the third floor of our building, the, the theater is. You would have to have somebody downstairs on the ground floor guarding the door or keeping the door open so that strangers on the street wouldn't wander in and want money or something. Well, you know that years ago, you, this is a whole different subject, but years ago there was a theater on the first floor that was showing stuff and there was a guy there who, who taught stuff. I can't even remember, Van Patten was his name. and. And if our son came here and took over that uh, first floor, as it's possible he might do, we could put a theater on the first floor and we wouldn't have to worry about no, somebody. No, I want to just talk about our theater, this project, and I think that I've already told, I think we've already told the story. Okay. The thing is, we have a studio downstairs, and if we 
since John is not employed right now, although he's got about four things that are lined up, <laughs> if he didn't do any of them or did them in afterwards, things have to be planned in advance. We did a project in our studio. We could do John's one man show or another version of My Shattering Pains. Which I think is a good idea. Okay. There are some other plays that you've done that I would like to, Peanuts and Tears. Uh, oh, several, well. Oh, well. Got, you, we've got a lot of material oh, that we oh, could well. do. Okay. Well, we don't want to bore you with it, but you would have to come and see it. Until then, we'll see you next, next week. week. This is AIR. See you next week.